Hey guys, what's up? Demo Go Battle of Airsoft here today to teach you how to convince your parents to let you play airsoft. Now in this video, I'm going to be covering the three most common objections that parents give their kids when they ask if they can play airsoft or get their own airsoft gun. These three most common objections are safety, age, meaning that the parents saying you are too young to play, and third, cost or just that your parents refuse to buy you the gun or equipment but have no objection as to you playing in general. Now it's important for me to first mention that regardless of the objection you're getting from your parents, it is crucial that you first educate yourselves on the topics of gun safety and the rules of engagement in airsoft. I've provided links down in the description below to videos on both of these topics so make sure you check these out right after you finish this video because it is the crucial first step in convincing your parents to let you play airsoft. Okay guys, now moving on to the second most common objection of parents, which is age. Or basically your parents telling you you're too young to play. Now what parents mean when they say you're too young is that they don't believe you are mature enough or responsible enough yet, or maybe just even tall enough if you're really little, <laughs> to properly and safely handle an airsoft gun and play with other players on the field. So to convince them that you aren't too young for the sport, you're going to have to convince them that you are mature enough, that you are responsible enough to handle an airsoft gun properly and safely. The best way to do this, like I mentioned earlier, is to educate yourself. Because think about it, guys. Watch those videos down in the description. You're gonna learn about gun safety, the rules of engagement, and just basic safety rules of airsoft. If you know these, and you're young, and you're talking to your parent about this, all this great safety information you know about airsoft, well, they're gonna be impressed. You looked all that up by yourself? Wow. And guys, this, the fact that you voluntarily learned about safety rules, and about the proper way to use airsoft guns and everything like this, it implies maturity and responsibility, which is exactly what you want to convince your parents you possess if you're going to convince them that you're not too young to play. Now this safety knowledge alone probably will not be enough to convince any of your parents that you're old enough to play airsoft, but what it might do after you have Shown them that you know how to properly handle a gun, you know the proper safety equipment needed to play, and you know the basic safety rules of the sport. What this might do is convince them that maybe, maybe he or she is more responsible, more mature than I thought. Maybe they can handle this airsoft gun. It's going to just inch them slightly closer to letting you play. Now, to inch them even further, and possibly just convince them altogether, you can try to strike a deal with them. Now what I mean by this deal is that you are going to be offering a service to them in return for them allowing you to play airsoft. So it's a trade guys. You're giving them something since they are giving you the permission. Now this could be anything. Just make sure it's something that in some way makes your parents lives easier or helps them out. So this could be something like doing the dishes or vacuuming the house or cleaning your parents car or walking the dog, anything. Because if you can show them that you can handle a responsibility that is normally for people above your age, then maybe they will think, if they can do this, which is normally for someone above their age, then maybe they can play airsoft too. Even though I think he's too young, maybe he's more mature for his age than I thought. Okay guys, now we're going to be covering the third most common objection from parents when their kids ask if they can get a gun or play airsoft. And that is just your parents refusing to buy it for you, but having no objection as to you playing in general. Now chances are, if this is the only problem you're facing in getting into airsoft, you probably already know the solution. You may just not know how to arrive at it. And what I mean by this is you know you need money for a gun and a mask and equipment. You just don't know how to get the money. So here's some ideas on how to do that. The first option is to save up your allowance money or whatever money you get regularly until you have enough to buy the gun you want or for a day at the field. 
Now, if you don't receive a regular allowance from your parents or whoever your guardians are, then you can ask if in return for doing chores around the house, whether it be vacuuming all the carpets or cleaning your cat's litter boxes or raking leaves, mowing the lawn, anything. In return for doing that, maybe they will give you a certain amount of money every week, $10, $20, however much it is. And you slowly save this up over a couple months until you have enough for that gun or a day at the field. Guys, if your parents say no to this and just maybe can't afford to give you an allowance or just don't see any chore you could do that would fit it, try offering the same deal to your grandparents or to your aunt and uncle or your neighbors or anybody you know well enough to ask. The second option you have for this is if you are close to your birthday or Christmas or any holiday where you receive money from family and friends is that you can either ask whoever gives you the biggest present for the gun or if they will not give it to you or it's too expensive for them to buy then just ask everybody for money and save that up until you have enough for that gun. The third and final possible solution um, to overcome the cost of the airsoft equipment is get a job. Now guys, if you are 14 or older, because as far as I know, in most US states, this is the age limit to get your working papers, and in turn the age limit for when you can start working. If you are 14 or older, there's no excuse. You can't say, I can't play yourself because my parents won't buy it for me. You can get your own job and save up those paychecks for the gun you want. I did that when I first started. 14 year old started working in a coffee shop before this channel was ever sponsored by anybody, before we ever got a discount. I was working at that coffee shop, saving up my paychecks till I could buy the next gun I wanted or a new mask, whatever. Now, if you are under 14, then getting a job isn't an option for you. But this doesn't mean you can't earn your own money. There's a couple ways to do this and really you can do it any way that you think possible. Um, but basically I would say it is starting your own business. And guys, I don't mean starting a corporation or a partnership or anything like this, nothing complicated. Something simple such as a lemonade stand or go to the beach with a bo box of ice cream and sell it all. If it's fall when you're watching this, go around the neighborhood and knock on doors. Hey neighbor, if I rake your leaves, will you give me $20? Boom. Be creative. Think of anything around you, at your house or outside of your house, that you can do for money that other people won't want to do. And save up that money until it's enough for the gun you want or a day at the field. That's it I have for this video, guys. If I missed something uh, and I didn't cover an objection your parents are giving you, or you just have a question, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to reply as quickly and as effectively as possible. Uh, if you guys did find this video helpful, be sure to send it to your friends who are having the same problem. Share it on Facebook, whatever. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time. And that is that they saw some kid on the news who got shot because police saw his airsoft gun and thought it was a real firearm and shot and killed him. So I do have three different responses for this. The first is you can tell your parent, well, 